All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Tonight, when this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa. Presenting the challenger, the king. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender out of sight. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. He blocks the punch. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. 
Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Single collar tie now. Big punch land. Boom. Nice leg kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Oh, and he caught the kick. Straight punch land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. It shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Adesanya. Big kick lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Right hand upstairs. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Nice pick of the right They hand. continue to exchange. Oh, He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Right, he engages in a single collar tie. Misses with that punch. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, VC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Big punch from the clinch. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Outstanding kick there by Adesanya. Just misses with the straight right. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice punch there. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. And they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Single collar tie here. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Outstanding back and forth first round. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability.
nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not punch me on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He got him. Unable to connect with the right. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Not there. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big head kick. with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Punch is blocked. Israel Adesanya gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Beautiful body kick. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he switches his stance yet again. Right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Beautiful strike. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go here. Beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all ropes. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. You can't take many of those, you better check. And he's looking for that left hand just best. Oh, a huge block there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And there comes the separation now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time for Lance. Come on, man! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. 
I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. looks he switches to southpaw now liver kick just out of range with the right hand to continue to attack there. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land it right on the spot. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming in. All right, single collar tie now. Boy, Thai Plum. Effective punch there by Adesanya. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Battling for hooks. Just missed. Oh! Huge right hand! Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We go 
inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.